In a culture where logic and reason have been discarded, the truth of Holy Mother Church is still very much alive. Fill your soul with the truth of the Holy Catholic faith. Get your premium account at churchmilitant.tv today and discover the truth. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Here are latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. Bishop Lawrence Persico of Erie, Pennsylvania has announced the largest hospital in the city might not be considered a Catholic institution anymore after new owners indicated they will start performing sterilizations, violating Catholic teaching. The hospital in question, St. Vincent Health System, is transitioning owners from the Sisters of St. Joseph of Northwestern Pennsylvania to Highmark Inc., based in Pittsburgh. St. Vincent is currently the only Catholic health system in the region. The number of pro-life activists continue to rise at the Capitol in Texas, while legislators push for the pro-life bill, which would save children in utero from 20 weeks and over from being killed by abortion. The House Calendars Committee met early Monday to schedule a debate today and vote on the measure. The bill is highly expected to pass. Last month, the Archbishop of Concepcion, Chile, donated a $50,000 inheritance from his late aunt to the Catholic University of the Most Holy Conception in order to establish a food scholarship in her memory. The new scholarship will provide meals for students whose parents are immigrants or imprisoned. Nearly 80% of students at the university are from families who live in poverty. A woman from Costa Rica who recovered from a brain aneurysm after praying to blessed Pope John Paul II publicly spoke to the media for the first time about the miracle, which was just approved by Pope Francis, clearing the way for his canonization. A little over two years ago, the woman was told by doctors that she had days to live, and after praying to John Paul II, heard him say, quote, Rise, don't be afraid. After her prayer encounter, the woman's condition quickly improved and she was eventually cured. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about leading the Church of Nice. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you. Sick of TV and its cultural rot? Tune in to churchmilitant.tv and become a premium subscriber where you will get access to fresh shows with solid church doctrine. As a premium subscriber, you'll get hundreds of hours of programming, which includes investigative shows, catechesis, apologetics, church history lessons, and a lot more. What are you waiting for? Forget the bad television and dive into the riches of the Catholic faith for only $10 a month.